we are seventh and eighth grade students from Leonardo da Vinci's EK through eight school in Sacramento, California. We are members of the Dolphin Yacht Club, which is an after-school volunteer-based program that teaches us how to design and build our own solar-powered boat to compete in SMUD's annual solar regatta. This? When it came to teamwork, the parent mentors decided to split up the students into different work groups based on their interests. We had four different teams, whole, solar, motor, and presentation slash video. Several students were on more than one team. Hi, I'm Calvin, the lead of the solar team. The inspiration of our design came from the SMUD solar panel specifications and from other solar publications that discuss maximum power points and tracking. We learned how the solar panels deliver maximum power by testing different load values and graphing these values. Using Google, we found an MPPT device that might work well for supplying power while tracking the maximum load point. We also knew the motor needed 24 volts, so we needed a device that would work at that voltage. We all learned about waterproofing the electrical connection to international protection standards. We will be using IP-rated connectors for safe electrical connections and protection from water. Some of the challenges we are facing are related to finding ways to improve our solar panel efficiency. We know the angle to the sun is important as well as temperature, but the difficult part will be designing a way to track the sun as well as lowering the solar panel temperature. Hi. I'm Caden, the lead of the motor team. We were inspired by Evergreen Middle School's 2014 belt drive design because it looked like a good design. We wanted to improve on the design by including a hydrofoil around the belt to reduce water drag. So, Google searches on hydrofoils gave us several websites that showed us the optimal foil shape that would fit our belt drive motor. We had a spare 24 volt scooter motor with a power rating close to the measured 180 watts from the solar panels, which made the scooter motor an acceptable fit. The aluminum parts were made with the help of John F. Kennedy students using our design and their SolidWorks CAD machining capabilities. We took the lead on the design and they took the lead on machining the parts. The aluminum material came from foraging through the recycle yard. We still have lots of work ahead to design and assemble the rest of the motor drive. An upcoming challenge will be finding the best gear ratio for the propeller. We will also need to design and machine the motor mount to attach it to the boat. We learned a lot from building our own boat from scratch last year. This year we are planning on building a semi-planing hole, but making our boat narrower and lighter than last year's design. To accomplish this, we are reducing the weight of the boat by replacing wood with carbon fiber. This should reduce drag in the water and make for a lighter and faster boat. We are again using skin on frame construction for our hull, which consists of a series of lateral flames connected by longitudinal stringers to make the hull shoot. Then, a skin material is stretched over the skeleton to complete the hull. To do this, we modeled the whole shape in 3D modeling software. From there, we took cross sections of the hole and inputted them into the CAD program. We used the CAD files with the CNC router to cut the pieces to make a full-size mock-up of the hole. We used the mock-up to lay up the stringers, and then we marked where the stringers met the frames and took that data back to the CAD program to design the actual frames for the hole. We are using recycled cardboard for the core of the carbon fiber panels. We are also using PET, which is a synthetic fiber made from recycled soda bottles for the skin of our boat. This is the same material we used when building last year's design. We used recyclable aluminum for the motor and transmission parts and also went through the scrap pile at John F. Kennedy High School to find motor parts. We are building our own boat from scratch again this year. Even though we were able to find some scratch metal and recycle parts from last year, we still had costly items on our wish list such as carbon fiber and a lithium ion battery to help lighten our load. We were fortunate to receive two grants, one from Captain Planet and the other from PG&E. 
We also did some fundraising events. The Dolphin Yacht Club would like to leave a lasting legacy design program here at Leonardo da Vinci K-8 School. It's our hope that this voluntary after-school program can be turned into a middle school elective and incorporated into our school's integrated thematic instruction curriculum so that future students can learn about solar energy, engineering, and design and participate in SMUD's annual solar regatta.